guys, welcome to TMM. Today we're going to be doing the last of the how-to videos, um, how to study biochemistry. Now, medicine in some ways is based uh, a lot around biochemistry, but also not around biochemistry. What I mean by that is biochem is a massively broad uh, spectrum of detail. So the level of biochem that most medical students are going to need to know is chemical processes, so glycolysis, a bit about oxidative phosphorylation. You more sort of need to know that it happens, not really how it exactly happens at every step, um, unless you want to become like an endocrinologist or something like that. Um, but it's important to know how insulin works and things like that, how hemoglobin works, um, some protein structures, some he hemoglobinopathies, um, stuff like that. So. I wouldn't bother with a textbook. If you're gonna get one, get Lehinger's Principles of Biochem. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it's good, but it's way too much detail, uh, like all this crystallography and stuff, a lot of irrelevant detail, especially. Um, so I would just go with whatever your course uh, demands of you. Definitely maybe supplement your material with some online reading and things like that in those courses, but I wouldn't bother with a textbook just on biochemistry in itself. Um, the trick to learning biochem is to like write out, so if you get a lecture on a biochemistry, write out like 10, 10 checkpoints that you actually need to know. Um, our lecturer at Melbourne Uni is awesome and he actually puts the 10 points that he wants us to know on a first slide. And at first I was, I was going through all the lectures trying to like accumulate all this detail um, and I ended up forgetting most of it and only remembering like slight, slight points here and there. Um, and there are some bits of the detail that are important. So, I'll show you the slide. I'll put it up there. Um, the, the way to do it is break it down into like maybe 10 or 11 points that could be asked as a multiple choice and are useful knowledge as well. So, the, my favorite example is the bruising one. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll put up like a video or some pictures. It's where when you get bruised, um, you bust your capillaries and all the blood comes out, okay? And that's hemoglobin. Hemoglobin becomes deoxygenated, which uh, changes its color to sort of a dark red, almost a purple, and also becomes um, oxidized, sorry, reduced, which is met hemoglobin, so it becomes like a brown color. So that's why when you first get bruised, um, first there's inflammation and swelling, that's not bleeding. Um, oh, it's a bit red, but that's not really bleeding. Um, and then once that subsides, you get this like bluey, red, black sort of bruise. Then it'll fade out to a greeny sort of color. That's biliverdin. Um, that's a breakdown product of hemoglobin. Um, and it's actually broken down in circulation from macrophages and things like that. So it makes sense that it can be broken down uh, locally. Then it turns yellow, a yellow sort of color down to um, bilirubin, unconjugated bilirubin, um, which is uh, sort of a yellowy color. It's the color that makes people jaundice when they have li liver disease. Um, so just getting like a bruise that most people would have got before and watching it fade over time is an example of biochemistry that nearly anyone can understand. And it's really cool. So try and remember it in processes that actually happen, like alcohol, beer belly, alcohol goes directly to fat, unregulated, things like that. Um, it's sort of like a common stream throughout, but you've really got to try and learn things in medicine that are applied because otherwise you just forget it. There's too much detail to know. And as a first year trying to learn theory, I'm not interested in getting the one markers of like tiny detail. I'm really trying to get all the concepts so I can do really well in the clinic. I'm not really fussed about being the valedictorian and getting every detail because I don't have an eidetic memory and I want to have a good time as well. So that's how you study for biochemistry. Check out my other videos. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been doing tutes recently. I cannot get the program to work because I updated to 8.1, but... Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, leave them in the link below. Um, email me if you want me to do more videos on any specific topics. And um, that's about it. So see you later. Bye.